to face. My breath is getting sort of grimy. I know you're bad. Ah, I'm weak from those around you. Well, bye for now, Squidward. Oh, you're leaving. My horror show for Christ. Today is a day of great joy. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Game Boy Am and, and we're doing the SpongeBob SquarePants movie PC game. This is part two and and in the last part our SpongeBob needs needs to get uh, ready for the you know, the ground of the ceremony, the first to grab two. You know, got his clothes, clothes, but SpongeBob needs uh, but out a toothpaste, toothpaste, and, and, and I was wondering if he could borrow his clothes, or his butt, for his own plan, and so we need to find, find a way to get the clothes toothpaste, and without, uh, him seeing, we need to distract him, and in that conversation, and in the beginning you can finish the conversation. Let's turn off this radio so it's clear it won't be so deaf. Ah, much better! Now Squidward won't be so deaf to the rest of the world! I can't take that! Squidward might see me! Alright, let's go back to SpongeBob's house, turn off the TV, and then and use the phone to distract Squidward. in the chum bucket, cooking up another evil plan to take over Bikini Bottom. He is a jealous and egotistical creature. His height may be measured in millimeters, but his vanity spans leads. Hey, watch it! I can hear you, you know! Oh, a thousand pounds. What I meant to say was, help Blank find and carry out the plan, that will make all of Bikini Bottom tremble with his awesome power. You know, I'm kind of starting to like you. Chapter 2, Evil Under the Sea Looks like a beautiful day outside. Perfect weather for implementing an evil scheme. Let's see what we can come up with, shall we? Okay, now we're playing this one thing. I never have any customers. But don't cry for me. I use the rejection constructively to feed the evil, you understand? That's the menu. I programmed the robotic SpongeBob to keep it orderly and rearrange it when the specials change. Karen may have helped me slightly. <laughs> That seems 
perfectly normal. It's a symbol of the oppression of the working class. Also, it's a wrench. Down here. What do you want? I need to find a way to steal Mr. Krabs' secret Krabby Patty recipe. I've tried everything I can think of. In other words, not much. You aren't helping. Have you checked all the evil plans in your filing cabinet? Yes, every last one from A to Y. There is nothing left. Um, what about Z? 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 The letter after Y? Goof! Oh, boy. I'm spiritually bankrupt. I have no soul. How can I find my place in this cruel, cruel world? You're complaining to me about having no soul? I'm a computer. Have a little tap. Oh, uh, sorry, my dear. That is all for now, wife. Return to your spousal duties at once. By spousal duties, do you mean overlooking your many faults and watching you blunder your way through another doomed attempt to take over the world? I have one word for you. Magnet. You couldn't lift it. You think that mop looks too big for me to carry? Shows what you know. Now let's see. Plan C. Steel crown. Frame crabs. I like it. I like it. It's got panache. So let's do this step by step. Step one, get to Neptune's castle and steal his crown. Child's play. I can't get to it. That plastic SpongeBob robot might squash me. I'll need to get him to move first. Robot SpongeBob, move! I order you. He isn't answering my commands. He must be broken. Luckily, this is creative. I know his innermost workings. Fixing him should be a snap. Here's the wrench. A wrench can be quite a precision tool, as long as you know exactly where to throw it. Robot, do my bidding! Be still and listening to me. I can't hold up the variety of programming. I have to find another way to get you to move. If something explained about the men. And you buy back in the dining room. Yeah. The plankton can rearrange the letters on the men and you if the robot SpongeBob will instantly come out here and will distract them so that plankton gets the jetpack. But those letters look too high to reach. We could maybe we can use this mop. Let's test the robotic SpongeBob and see if he performs his duty. I can't possibly get to Neptune's castle without my jetpack. Think, man, think! We have the jetpack. It's my jetpack! It allows me to fly far above the heads of those who will one day be my vassals! Whoa! This jetpack doesn't handle too well. I must not have tightened the phalange sufficiently. Let's hope I don't get into an accident. Well, Neptune's castle, here we go. So, so you can hold the hold down the bells button to make plankton and yeah, and propel up, but release it to make him um, go down. Oh, better watch out for those. Better, 
better avoid those jellyfish. Neptune's castle. Why don't I have a castle, you may very well ask. Sadly, that question lacks a satisfactory answer. Anyway, let's get down to business. Ah, the telltale signs of civil unrest. <coughs> Glorious. It's a stable. You know why that stable doesn't have windows? Cause who ever heard of stable windows? <laughs> That's a nerd joke. <laughs> yeah, seahorses, smelly beasts. Yeah, the sea is dirty, dirty sea. It's a stinky seahorse shoe. Seahorses don't even have feet. What genius thought of these? Speak, Quizling. Can I just hear something? Yes, down here. Answer me before I destroy you. I could have sworn I heard something, but I guess it was just the gotch to the wind. Blast. Oh, well, I doubt you would have had anything interesting to say anyway. I'd better not. They probably wouldn't be very friendly, and their boots look heavy. You wouldn't need a battering ram to break these down. A battering worm would do just fine. That is quite possibly the coolest thing I've ever seen. Candles. They probably save a lot of electricity that way. I'll have to look into implementing a similar scheme at the gym bucket. A penny saved is a penny added to the plankton fund for total global control. It's an image of a book. I guess that's so people who can't read have no trouble finding the library. <laughs> You have got to be kidding. Hello, clown. What? Who's there? Down here. Yikes. Sea lice. Please don't bite me. I am not a louse, and I would never bite you. I don't know where you've been. I knew we needed to get the castle tinted. Listen, Tony, I need information. What do you want from me? So, how do you like your job? It's all right, I guess. But I don't like living in this castle. It's really gone downhill lately. I mean, look at this carpet. There's a loose thread right there. It's embarrassing. You're a jester, right? Do something funny. Uh, how about this? Wow, limber. I'm trying to get into the throne room. I have important business with King Neptune. Now, how would I do that? You probably want to bite him. I assure you, I do not. The doors to the throne room are electric. There's a button on the side that slides them open. I call it the electric slide button. I can't reach it. Yes, you're going to have to bite someone else then. Can you help me open the doors? I'm not opening the doors for a louse. For the last time, I am not a louse. 
Well, I'm not opening the doors for you anyway. There's a nail sticking out of the wood next to the button, and my hat always gets caught on it. I'm not risking my 3070 cotton blend for anybody, especially a louse. A nail, huh? Please, I've gotta go. You can say that again. Or continue in the next part. See you.